had to pee. Oh, of course. Let's keep sipping. Keep on sipping. I was done. All right. No, that's that's not good. Let's throw it in the bin. Come on. Come on. Supply room. No, I need to get to the bathroom. Sorry. <laughs> oh. Hey, who's outside? Hey, this is the ladies' room. What are you doing here? Sorry, didn't know anyone was in here. You almost gave me a heart attack. I'm so sorry. Should have knocked before I came in, but there isn't usually anyone in here this late. Yes, you should have knocked. Again, I'm sorry. I usually do knock, but I'm a little bit frustrated. Tonight. Must have slipped my mind. What was your frustrated? Frustration, I guess. Someone keeps throwing coffee cups on the floor all over the official office. It's been happening for weeks. It's not me. It's not me. I, I, th I threw it in the bin. You saw that, right, guys? That's really rude. Well, I need to get back to do it. Don't want to be here online picking up coffee cups. Have a good night. <laughs> Bro, he gave me a heart attack. Hey, wait, whoa, whoa, whoa. Why are you following me? Don't follow me, okay? Alright, Tracido, welcome back. Do not freaking follow me. Weird janitor. My phone's ringing. Coming. Hello? Uh, hello? Go for Sydney Harper. Hey, Harp, it's Mike. Uh, hi, Mike. I've been trying to call yourself for the last two hours. It just keeps going to voicemail. Is everything all right? My battery dies at the worst times. Oh, snap. I was starting to think maybe you were ignoring me. <laughs> uh... No, it even cut out on a client earlier. I'm just kidding. <laughs> um... Okay. Uh, anyway, uh, what are you still doing at work? It's getting kind of late. Uh, just more overtime. Damn, Harp, that sounds rough. Good thing I called to cheer you up. <laughs> um, about our trip, did you get a chance to book the rental house? Just really wanted to see you. And Nora. <laughs> I was going to do it after work. No worries, Harper. I don't want to stress you out. As long as you book it tonight, I think it'll be fine. <laughs> hey. Yeah? I was thinking, since we both live in the city, maybe I could pick you up and ride together. It'd be nice to catch up. I'm good. You know, save on gas and relive the good old days. Just a little bit of Mike and Sydney time before Nora gets there. <laughs> I have both options, sure, and sounds good. Fine. Great. Uh, I guess I'll let you get back to work then. Okay. Oh, uh, wait, one more thing. Yeah? When you book the rental, please make sure to keep it under $100 a night. Why? Nora and I were talking, and she's been on a pretty tight budget. Things haven't been going very well for her. Then don't go, maybe? Sure, I'll find something affordable. It'll be just like the old college days. The 
You always had a knack for finding the best spots. Okay. Remember that little cafe you found on our trip to Oregon? The Nook Cafe? Yeah. I miss those days, Harp. Alright, I see what they're trying to do, but I should really make the booking Right, now. right, of course. Sorry for yapping. I'm just excited, I guess. Okay. Alright, talk to you later, Harp. See ya. Weird guy. 350 a night? No, she said. He said uh, less than 100. 99. 259, 100. So there's only one. Private cabin and Woodbury. Only two reviews. I, I, won't, I wouldn't go, go here, guys, you know? Look at this. Only two reviews. And three stars. I will never book this cabin, but they said less than 100. At least it got Wi Fi. All right, fine. I'll book this cabin. Looks good to me. I want to read the reviews. Can I? Can I read the reviews? No. Okay. Look at them. Hi, I'm one. Welcome back. Your booking has been confirmed. Printed. Hey, I'm assuming you get hundreds, if not thousands, of stories sent daily. Oh, so this, uh, so if you don't know, these stories are based on real stories. So this is the fifth episode, if I'm not wrong. I don't know. Fifth, yeah. So I'll give you a basic rundown of something that happened to me. I'm sorry if some of it is written weird, but I was rushed. Okay. When I was in my early 20s, I worked at a big consulting firm in my city. Life at the firm was constant juggle of deadlines, client meetings, and trying to prove my worth. Which didn't leave much room for leisure, let alone a social life. The job paid well, sure, but at the expense of my mental peace. I'm Sydney Harper, and this story takes place one of those days. One of my college friends, Mike, suggested that we take a weekend getaway to rural Vermont, which sounded like a perfect break from the cycle of work. And my other friend, Nora, was quick to jump on board as well. The plan was simple. We rent a small cabin, close our shift early on Friday, leave and be back on Monday. Mike came to pick me up. Two days later. Here we go. Ugh. Afternoon. Quite chilly today, eh? I've seen you around, but haven't had a chance to introduce myself. I'm Gail. I'm Sydney. It's nice to meet you. You're on the 10th floor, right? I'm on 8th. How do you know? I've just seen you a few times getting off the 10th floor when I'm home late from work. What do you do for work? Me? I'm no software engineer. What about you? I work at a consulting firm downtown. Oh, I see. Anyways, I hope you have a great day. Great rest of your day. I need to get some groceries before the snow starts. You too. All right. I forgot my suitcase in the elevator. How do I answer it? All right. Pulling into the parking garage now. Is that you, Mike? Harp! Hug. Fine. That's still how you hug people? Long hug? No. No. You look good. So do you, Mike. You can just throw your stuff in the back and we'll get on our way. Looks like a weirdo. Alright then, Harp. Are you ready to hit the road? Uh, where's Nora? She'll meet us there. What do you mean? The route through the city would have been a detour for her anyway. Alright then, Harp. I don't like this guy. But I guess I don't have any other option, huh? Uh, before we go in there, it's it's my chance to read, read the messages, okay? Here's the thing, guys. I'm on a tight budget. Like, I'm eating ramen noodles for every meal. Kind of tight. Not to mention, I really need to put a new set of tires on the car. 
if we could find something in the ballpark of... Uh... God... Every meal kind of tight. Not to mention, I really need to put a new set of tires on the car. If we could find something in the ballpark of $100 per night, I think I can still make it work. I don't know. Let me know if that's okay with you. I hope I get to see you both soon. So this is my friend Nora. Nora, that's no problem. We will make sure to get something reasonably priced. We got you, girl. Cheap and cozy. Don't make me cheap, Harpy. It makes me sound well cheap. We know you're a millionaire at heart, Nora. The fanciest woman we know. Stop. We're on the road, Nora. Let us know when you get going. Okay, that's Nora. And finally, let's read this guy's message. Thanks, Rick. We're looking forward to just confirming the check-in time is 3 p.m., right? If that's correct. The key will be in a lockbox by the front door. The code is 5176. Call me if you have any trouble getting it open. Have a safe trip. Uh, great, thank you. It's nearly 5 p.m. I haven't received a confirmation text. I just wanted to check in and make sure everything is okay. The roads near Woodbury can be a little dangerous, okay? We're on our way. Should be there around 6. Okay, please confirm when you check in and travel safe. Okay, buddy. Let's eat the pizza then. Come on in, Arp. Thank you. Gentlemen. This just in. Reports of a strong snowstorm coming towards Woodbury tonight. Residents are recommended to stay indoors and keep warm during this time. Let's check in with our field reporter. How's the weather out there, Phil? Oh, it's so cold out here. I, I can't feel my hands, okay? Like, the studio should have really brought some snow gear instead of buying that new coffee machine. I'm sure you'll be fine. You can have some coffee when you get back to the studio. Jerry. You cannot be serious. You know my doctor said not to drink any caffeine. Sounds like someone's having a bad day. Maybe you should <laughs> cool off. You little shit. Why can't you go out here and deal with the snow instead of me? I've been working here for six years and I never get to report somewhere nice. Listen, Phil. I'm just clearly the better looking one. You can worry about where you'll report once you get that rhinoplasty. Rhinoplasty? Why would I need rhinoplasty? My face looks perfectly fine. You could also use some Botox while you're at it. Ooh. Actually, maybe you should just work as a studio light engineer behind the camera. I think it would be better field of work for you. You only got your job because your sister works at the mixing board. You would have never been able to work here if it wasn't for her. I'd like to see you work the ENG sometime. How dare you? I'm a certified news anchor. Certified? Yeah, my ass, okay? You didn't do shit. How about I come by the studio and we settle this like men? Oh, yeah? Well, let's do it, punk. We'll be right back after this commercial break. Wow. How are you doing, my friend? Not bad, you. I'm as good as a man can be, my friend. Are you here for a pizza? No, just looking for a little help. My friend. Maybe I can help you. Maybe you can. But you go on and get some pizza first, eh? Maybe maybe we'll catch up later. Alright. Sniff. It smells so good in here. Long sniff. Oh. Oh, you guys are going to hate me. I swear I'll get on the road as soon as I can. But something last minute popped up. I'm not gonna bore you with all of the details. The long and short of it is, one of my clients needs a last minute change. Their payments are about the only thing keeping the lights on. I hate to leave so late, but I gotta keep them happy. I'll have this logo done before you know it and be on my way. I don't like this. Hi. Hello there. I saw you all put in driving that nice old truck. Pull in, yeah, that's right. Uh, that's right not to be a bother or anything but i was heading down the road myself seems like we might have been going the same direction you'll mind if i hitch a ride with you where's your car who needs a car when there are fine friends like you to pass the time with you all wouldn't even know I, who i was there quite as a church mouse and twice as nice <clears throat> mm. so do we let him in guys do we let him hitchhike? He seems fine. He got a backpack. So... 
Looks like he's traveling. Uh, sure, you can. You can come with us. Might be a bad decision, but yeah, sure. Hold on a second. Don't you think we need to discuss this? Uh, okay. Isn't that what we're doing? I'm not sure if we have extra space for another passenger. Yeah, he's right. Only two seats in the truck. I'm sorry. I didn't think of that. Surely you can find just a little bit of room for me. I can ride in the middle. I'll ride in the bed. What do you mean ride in the bed? It's my friend's car. Sorry. Gotta be. Okay, he's a creep. Okay. Red flag, guys. He's a creep. You scared of me or something? Sorry. You ain't too kind, are you? Unkind people meet unkindness themselves. You best be careful out there. Are you threatening us? No, no, no. You, you all got me wrong. Sorry, I'm just cold and tired is all. Thanks. Consuming! Are you serious? How are you gonna let a stranger ride with us in the middle of nowhere? Well... Okay, I was just trying to help. Yeah, well, sometimes helping can put you in bad situation. All right, dad. Consuming. Now I want pizza. Yeah, me too. Burp. Sure. Uh. Uh. Who was that? It wasn't me. <clears throat> Not me, guys. Alright, where do I throw this? Okay. Nora texted. That was good. Uh, give me the keys. I'm gonna be driving now. Harp, the weather is awful. Why don't you drive part of the way home? No, I'm going to drive so you can get a break. Take a break while I drive, Michael. I'm afraid of what kind of break you're going to give me, Harp. Give me the keys so we can go. Fine, but there's one condition. What is it? I get first choice of bedrooms when or if we get there. Deal. I, I don't like where this is going. I got the truck keys. I'm gonna be driving. Drive slow and don't worry. I'm driving guys don't worry I got this everything's gonna be just fine what happened hello 5 49 p.m. here we go guys again this is based on the true story good evening Vermont this is your host at WKWB your hometown station bringing you the best tunes to warm your hearts on this my bad night as we embrace them I told you driving in the snow is no joke all right, this should be it. <laughs> I thought you were just gonna keep driving there. Well, uh, your brakes don't work. It was a quaint. I did not see any house with the basement like that. Only this one have it. Five one seven six guys. Oh, that's cool. Nice. 
Let me check the house. I need to stock the fridge first. What a great place. I knew we could count on you. It smells so nice in here, right? But I really need to hit the John. Okay, take your time, Mike. While I'm gone, can you put these groceries away? Should be enough space in the fridge. Sure. Oh, that's how we do it. Are we cooking in here or what? All right, done. Sounds like he's gonna come out. Here we go. Sorry about that. Are you okay? Long drive and all that. Pizza really did a number on me. Two nights we can stay. Uh, it's gonna be horrible. <laughs> no, no easy. All the groceries are put away. Thanks for handling that. Anyway, this place looks crazy nice. It's got that rustic charm you just don't see anymore. I really need to pee. Uh, it's nice to get away from the city for a bit. For sure, hey, I really need to pee. You can go ahead, I'll start unpacking our bags, thanks. Only unpack your bag, don't touch my bag, okay? Hey, that's my bag. Hey, what do you think you're doing? Where is your bag? What a weirdo. The smell alone told me pizza had really done a number on Mike. Ugh. Hello? Alright, I got the pee meter. Text Rick. Hi, we've checked in. Rick. Hey, Rick. <laughs> you feeling better after the drive? Much better now. So, ready to check out the place? I am ready to check out. Sounds good to me. After you. Oh no, let me wash my hands. What is that? What is this game? So this is episodic horror game. I don't know if you have ever seen it. It's called Fears to Fathom. And I have played all the previous episodes. This is the fifth episode. They are based on true stories sent by real people. That's what makes it more horrifying. Stick around. Alright, uh, let's check the place. Rick texting from basement. Yeah, I'm, I'm sure he's in the basement. This living room is bigger than my apartment. Okay. Hey, look. You have a secret lair kind of thing. I don't know. He's just gonna follow me around. Never heard of it? Yeah, it's very popular among streamers and content creators. I don't need the plate. Can't wait to cook here later. Uh, when did you start cooking? I'm full of surprises. Wink. Okay, come on. Let's check, check upstairs. So you, do you just play without knowing what is going to happen? Yeah. We don't know what's happening. The story continues as you progress. And also there are choices in this game. I don't know if it's for the game or it, it, what happened in the real. But we have choices. There are some different endings and stuff. A lot of things. Oh my goodness! There is someone in there. Mike. Mike, there's someone in there, bro. Oh, hey, you're here. Who are you? Welcome to my home sweet home. 
Are you supposed to be home? What a lovely young couple. We're not a couple. What, Mike? We're not. You didn't have to sell it that hard, Harp. Or really, did I hurt your feelings? Because we're not a couple? Are you worried about that right now? This old guy is just here before us. I was just answering his question. He didn't ask a question, Sydney. He made a statement and you never mind. Oopsie daisy, silly me. Didn't mean to cause a stir between you two. We didn't expect anyone to be here. Oh, um. I was out looking for my cat early and I remember the TV has been on the fridge here. Just thought I'd stop by and try to get it working again since the last few folks left a bad word for it. You only had two reviews buddy i checked okay you don't have to worry about reviews right now you know they say treat your guests like family my family doesn't go without tv speaking of that now that your folks are here let me show you around my sweet home right now i'd be a bad owner if i didn't give you the grand tour what happened with your head Host was a middle-aged man with a nervous energy. Okay. Right from his right right from the start, his presence. I didn't read that. Sorry. Here's his shower. That thing will make you feel like you're bathing under a waterfall in the Amazon jungle. Oh, this thing doesn't work, unfortunately. Not to worry, I'll get it fixed for you real soon. Let me show you the other bedroom now. Okay. Look hard, this room has a nice view. You think that's nice, mister? Wait till I show you the deck. Follow me now, please. Hold on a second. Are you coming, miss? God, these guys won't let me check anything. Where is Nora? Is she coming or not? Hey, Nora. <coughs> you coming? What is this? Here's the storage room. If you need anything, tools, extra blankets, whatnot, it's all in here. If the power ever goes out, you can use this flashlight here on my right. So, storms like these, you never know. Thanks. Alright folks, let's head downstairs now. I'm taking it already. I am ahead of this game. I am already taking it. What are you doing? <laughs> what was that, Mike? Did you try to look? You weirdo. Alright folks. I see you already stocked up the fridge with some tasty food. Yeah, it's ours. You see the knob? Turn the knob up for more cooling and down to cool it off. I tend to keep it low in the winter. The bill goes out of control. Speaking of winter, I better should I better show you the folks the water heater. Already have the flashlight. Yeah, there is a locked door in there. What's the story story behind that? No access to guest. Hmm. Nothing to worry about down here. Just the water heater and some old story stuff. If it ever stops working, just hit the bottom at the bottom. Hit the button at the bottom. The pilot light will fire right up and you'll back you'll be back in business. That's a big torch. Hey sir, what's the deal with that room over there? Yes, good question. Nothing you do need to concern yourselves with. I kinda use this basement. As storage renters don't need the space. They really ought to keep upstairs. Okay, well I was just curious. Hmm. Let's move on. Hey Mike. Uh, what? Did I mention? Well, no. Maybe I ought to keep it to myself. The fella I bought this house from. Well, 
told me his mother died down here. Some guests have reported hearing voices at night. Said they could hear something shuffling around down here. Not to scare you folks, but if I were one of you, I wouldn't really s step down here. <laughs> the looks on your faces. <laughs> Come on now. I'm just I'm just joking. Good one. At this point, my creep meter was quietly pinging at around 6 out of 10. Alright, that's not so bad. Alright, folks. Snow starting to pick up. I'm gonna hit the road now. Gotta find that cat. Thanks for showing us around. By the way, what was the name of the on the booking? I must be getting old. It's Sydney. Ha! Sydney. That's right. A pretty name for a pretty girl. Creep meter, 11 out of 10. Yeah, he's weird. Very weird. Anyway, let's go see if there is anything good on the TV. Actually, I'm going to take a quick shower. Cool, I'll find something to watch while you're in there. Let me know if it feels like you're under a waterfall. Thanks, see you in a bit. Time to break that basement door. <laughs> Curiosity killed the cat. <laughs> Alright, I'm gonna shower with the flashlight. Is it okay? That's it, man. While we wait for it to cook, how about we play some board games? I saw some in the room next to the living room. Which one? Just grab whatever catches your eye. Can't wait to see what you pick. The fish is gonna burn. Oh, it's on the timer, right? Can we at least get a candle? Mike, you look, you look horrifying, by the way. Anyways, do you know how this works, Harper? Who do you think you're talking to? I have played more, more horror games than your whole living cycle. Alright, then you go first. Uh, are there any spirits who want to talk to us? I can't see. No way, are you moving it? That wasn't me. Okay, I got one too. Go ahead. How's the afterlife treating you, buddy? Hey, be respectful. I can't see, guys. What did it say? What's your name? Are you friendly? My turn. There's someone... There's someone... Wait, whose truck is that outside? Come on buddy, give us a sign. Let us know you're here. Where is my hand? Mike? I'm not usually one to believe in ghost or spirit. But I'd be lying if I said I didn't feel uneasy that night. What happened? Hey, Mike. <laughs> Look at Mike. Bro, nothing happened. Can you relax? There's some freaky 
going on down there, Harp? That was weird. The weird part is that you ditched me. I figured you would move your... <laughs> Have you ever heard of fight or flight? Whatever. Oh. Ding. I think there's someone under my bed right now. Can you come upstairs? You liar. I don't believe him. Sorry guys, mom was calling. Alright, I'm ready. So Mike, there's someone under your bed, huh? You better not be messing with me. Don't make sounds, walk slow. Is he gonna trying to scare me? Gotcha. You're lucky I didn't break your nose. My good looks are half my charm, Harp. Don't mess them up. I totally got you. No, you did not. That was fun, wasn't it? It's not cool. Come on, it was just a joke. You wanna go for the next round? Next round? How about a game of hide and seek? Fine. Alright, you're on. I'll count to ten. I decided to hide in the basement. I'm closing these doors to confuse him. Get knife with you. I decided to hide in the nook under the stairs. Oh. So this is my voice meter. I can't make any sound now. See that? I have to talk really, really slow. I don't think he can hear us right now. Okay, I think we're good. Mike, can you hear me? Come on now. I know you're in there. you okay maybe you need to look harder that wasn't even a challenge i figured you would be good at this since i never find you in the city all right my turn to hide now you better close your eyes and start counting mike was hiding i'm following mike i'm not counting here oh i can't go upstairs it's a two hour game. Oh no. Oh no. Closing my eyes guys in the worst possible. One Mississippi. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. All right, ready or not, here I come. I'll get you. Aha. Aha! Alright. 
He's good at this. Aha! Hmm. Interesting. What about the shed? Uh, can you go outside? I don't know the rules. Aha! Nope. Got you. Hang on, Harp. I think I heard something upstairs. Pull me once. Shame on you. Pull me twice. Going to try this. No kidding, Sydney. I really heard something sliding up there. You didn't hear it? No, I did not. I swear on my life, I heard something. I see this attic access door in here. Hold on, hold on. There's... I want to see that truck. Here we go. Going up. Oh, man. Hey, who's in here? It's the cat. The Rick was looking for this cat. Okay. At least he was not lying. That gives me some comfort that he won't lie to me again. Hey, it was just a cat. Oh, that's a relief. I was worried if worried there for a minute. I think she was hungry. Oh, yeah, maybe we can give her one of the carp after I come find you again. I don't want to hide and seek anymore. Okay, we're going for the tool shed, I guess. Nothing's going to go wrong here. Here we go. idiot what is he doing there you are anything worth doing is worth doing well getting tired I'll hide, in, I'll hide in the house we're headed back anyway you find me and we'll go to bed all right then go on once more guys here we go all right one two three four five six seven eight nine ten I don't think I gave him any time Okay, where are you? Is he in the basement? Let me check. Huh. He's not here. <laughs> Imagine if we find his bloody body. That would be a... Uh... What is that sound? Terrifying twist, huh, guys? What's that sound? Uh, do I have to check in the attic also? <laughs> What's going on? What happened? Rick, why are you back? I'm fixing the faucet. You got a problem with that? You should have told us. Miss, this is my house. I don't need to check. Check in with you every time I fix something. 
I've never seen anyone with a fix a faucet with a hammer before. You ever fixed many faucets yourself, young man? How long have you been here? I just got here a couple of minutes ago. Look, we need to go to bed now. You asking me to leave, miss? No, Rick. She's being polite. We rented this house and would like to have it to ourselves. We don't really want to have to call law enforcement. Mike, let me handle this. Okay. In new cops in Woodbury, son. <laughs> you think they're going to arrest the homeowner for fixing the faucet? I was just doing some work. If you can't handle that, it's your problem, not mine. You know what? If you folks don't like me fixing the faucet, I'll leave it. I'll leave you to it. You're weird, Rick. Just go away. Wait, what happened? After locking the door, we debated what to do. We agreed that there was something off about Rick from the start. It seemed like he enjoyed making excuses to come over un unannounced in the end. We decided Rick was weird but probably ha harmless. We attributed his behavior to an extreme lack of social awareness. Uh, yeah, some people are like that. They don't follow social things. Look, we already drove all the way out here. Let's just enjoy ourselves. I was feeling really tired. I decided to get some rest, go to bed, shut eye. 11.39 p.m. Nora, probably dead. What happened? House is burning? Hello? Harp, are you still awake? Hard to sleep when someone's knocking on the door. Do you mind if I come in? I'd like to talk about something. Sure. What is it? The storm is starting to get really bad. I can hardly see the truck in the driveway. I hope Nora is okay. She'll be just fine, Sydney. Don't worry, I'm here to keep you safe. What? Hey, it's no problem at all. Guys are supposed to watch other people they care about, right? <laughs> Nora is frozen somewhere. What are you talking about? What a day, huh? This wasn't exactly how I thought our getaway was going to go, Sydney. It's been a strange day, yeah. Can you believe that guy? He just keep wandering around the house like he owns the place. He does own the place. You know exactly what I meant, Sydney. He shouldn't just barge in the place whenever he wants. We rented the house. I mean, the guy is probably harmless, but I am frustrated. Me too. You, you, you've also been a little difficult to deal with. No, that's rude, guys. We're not gonna do that. I really need to sleep now, Mike. Why don't you come sit by me, Sydney? Leaving me already, Sydney? You act like you don't remember our trip to Oregon. I remember it being pretty awkward. It didn't start out awkward though. Mike, we had a lot of drink. Things happened. They sure did. I'm hoping maybe they can happen again. Nora's... Nora! Nora! I need help, Nora! Oh, Mike, I don't know what to say. I guess I've been meaning to talk to you about that. Uh... You just let me worry about the details, Sydney. Mike, I don't think this is a good time. Okay. Uh. Guys, I think I'm about 70 miles away from Woodbury <laughs> and my stinking tire just blew out. It's snowing and I'm on the side of the road on Highway 11 near Killington. There's a sign by the side of the road. It's hard to see. I, I think it says Kent Pond. The snow is like half of a deep and I can't get the lug nuts off the tire. <laughs> I hate to ask, but can you two come get me? Nora is frozen. 
<laughs> he was right. Nora is frozen. She's a popsicle. <laughs> LOL. What a timing, huh? But I guess we can't leave Nora stranded. Let me get dressed and I'll meet you downstairs. We are not wearing clothes. No, Sydney, you stay here and get some sleep. There's no sense in both of us freezing. Okay. Are you sure? Yeah, I'm sure. You're in pajamas and I'm still dressed. You just settle in and I'll go help Nora. That's really nice. She sounds like she's 12, yeah. <laughs> Please be careful. Alright, here we go. Now we're alone. We'll finish talking about this later, okay? Get some good rest and stay warm. If you really feel like we have to. What an awkward day, huh, guys? Drive away. Why don't you get some rest while I'm gone? Yeah, I think I'll crash for a bit. You sound like my dad. Look, maybe you should take care of yourself, alright? Can you blame me? Before I go, how about a hug? Alright. Sweet dreams, get some sleep, Sydney. Drive safe, Mike. I feel like he's about to die. <laughs> I feel like he's about to die. Doors closed. Alright, we're going to sleep. I was keen on getting some sleep until Mike and Nora arrived. Please, I just want to see Nora once. I've been <laughs> with this creep whole night. Alright, I'm sleeping guys. Here we go. I told myself things would get better if I could just get some rest. Nora always knew how to cheer me up and I needed it more by the minute. Yeah, with her arriving soon, I decided to rest in the meantime. You keep hugging him? No, because I feel like he's he's about to die, you know. I <laughs> don't want to sit next to him. 12.39 a.m. Here we go. It's a lot of reading, exactly. My, I'm tired. Okay, so I have two theories. Either that guy from the most pizza place is about to show up. Or Rick is about to get more weirder. Let's see. Okay. Someone was at the front door. Okay, so hiding places. One is right here. And one is downstairs, okay? friend i know it ain't ideal banging on your door in the middle of the night but i'm in a bad spot here i was counting on a ride from some friends but they are running behind and won't be here for about two more hours you can sit, sit on the porch while you wait thanks but i was hoping you'd let me wait inside while my friends get here to get me you're not coming in end of story are you kidding me you're gonna you're gonna let me freeze to death out here? I didn't make you go hiking in a snowstorm. I should have known you'd be a big... What? You think I didn't see you and your little boyfriend fishing in the creek earlier? I figured maybe you'd give me a chance this time. But looks like you are still unkind. Get out or I'll call the cops. Ain't no cops around here. Yeah, I remember that. Speaking of, I don't see your fr fella's truck out here either. I'm dialing 911 now. Fine. Suit yourself. What do I do? What do I do? But let me tell you something. 
you'll get what's coming to you for leaving me out here karma the man at the door seemed irrelevant compared to how tired i was i couldn't keep my eyes open i had to get some sleep why are all the lights off anyways getting some sleep 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 right we're good we're good Please come look since you live so close. Rick. Help. That door was not open. a relief Wh why does he have a hammer open the door miss it's me no i don't think that's a good idea i don't think that's a good idea why does he have a hammer What's going on? Thank God you're here. Explain the situation. I came as quickly as I could. I wouldn't worry about him anymore. By the way, where's your friend? The guy who was with you earlier. Oh no, no. He should be back soon. Mm. So you're all alone here right now? Yeah, but my friends will be back soon. What's happening with the door downstairs? Someone's trying to open the door. You glitch it? Oh, it's me? Storms like this bring out all kinds of folks. Not all of them know when to stay away. Okay, is that a threat? Rick is texting me? Wait a minute.
Everything okay? Yeah. Awful late for texting, isn't it? Who are you talking to? It's my friends. They are almost here. Is that so? Yeah, thanks for coming by though. I'll be fine now. You can head back if you want. You sure about that? Yeah, I just overreacted. Maybe I should stick around, make sure everything's really okay. Uh, you need to leave right now. What did you just say? Confront. This is my house. I will leave when I want. Get out of here before I call the cops. What do you want? I want what's mine. This house and you. You're, you're trespassing. You need to leave right now. I don't think so. If anyone is leaving this house, it will be one of us. What is he doing? We're waiting in here forever, guys, okay? That's what we are doing. Okay. Not going down there. Look at this guy. Open up. Look at <laughs> he's just down. Oh hey there, kitty. Are you alright? 
Just then talking to the other guests on the phone. I've called 911. Thanks. So he's not there anymore. I think I can go downstairs now. Hey? Please. I think I beat it. Yes. We did it, guys. Can I see Nora? Can I please see Nora? Is she alive? Nora! There you are! <laughs> At least we saw Nora in the end. Oh my god. I told them everything that happened after Mike had left. Rick had called the cops. The storm had quieted down by the time they arrived. And of course the man was nowhere to be seen. On our drive back, the whole night played over and over in my head. We think that man was secretly lived. Uh, we saw secretly lived in that cabin when it wasn't being used and planned on robbing us during our stay. But cops seemed to think there was more intent behind the man's action. Of course. Rick asked me what the man looked like and after he didn't ask any more questions. Uh, prob probably was his brother or something. I don't know. Cousin maybe. We think he knew more than yeah. He was letting on. But in the end, he gave us the full refund. <laughs> full refund, guys. Oh my god. What a game. What a story. We did it. Finally. Oh, that was Queso. News reporter. Wow.